Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX to differentiate uh, of the hyperbolic function. All right, so in this video, we will learn how to differentiate about um, hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos, and hyperbolic tangent x. All right, so when you differentiate hyperbolic sine x, you will actually get things the uh, hyperbolic cos x. When you differentiate the hyperbolic cos x, you will get negative hyperbolic sin x. And when you differentiate um, the hyperbolic tangent x, you will get the hyperbolic second square x. You will get the hyperbolic second square x. All right. But what if the angle is no longer x, then what will happen? Okay. So... Example, when we differentiate the, let's say, the hyperbolic 3x, then we will actually get the hyperbolic cos x. But then the x right now is the 3x, which is the angle, then we will remain the same, which is 3x. And then we need to do one more step, which is we need to differentiate the angle. So when we differentiate the 3x, we will get 3. So how do we get the 3 here? Is we actually differentiate the 3x. All right. So this one in the uh, shortcut, we actually call 3 hyperbolic cos 3x. Okay. All right. We know the formula for hyperbolic cos x in the net. The hyperbolic cos x is equal to e power of x and then plus e power of negative x divided by 2. So therefore, for hyperbolic cos 3x, we're actually getting e power of 3x plus e power of negative 3x, right? Divided by 2. So this is what happened for here. So we were actually getting something like e power of 3x plus e power of negative 3x divided by 2. All right, when x equals to 2, then what we are getting here is 3 times 2 is power of 6 plus e power of negative 6 divided by 2. All right, so if I type this one into the calculator here, this is, this is what I will get. 3 bracket fractions and then exponent power of 6 plus exponent power of negative 6 divided by 2. Then the calculator will tell me is 605.15. Or this is or another method you can type in the calculator is you can straight away type 3 and then go to the option, choose for hyperbolic function, number 1. Then you choose the hyperbolic cost, which is number 2. And then you just type about 3x is 3 multiplied 2 in it, 6. And then you will get the same answer, 605.15. Okay, but right now, if I want to use the calculator uh, to test whether my differentiation answer is correct or wrong. Okay, this is what I can do. So what I can do here is I do shift differentiation here and then I can just tell my calculator I want to differentiate the hyperbolic sine 3x. So I go to the option, choose hyperbolic function. I want to differentiate hyperbolic sine. And then 3x, I just type 3x. And then what is my x value right now? My x value is 2. So if I type 2 here, my answer should get the same result as my formula here. So which is enter. Uh, you will see you will get a syntax error. Why? Because when you do that time, you need to make sure after the 3x here, you need to add one more closing bracket here. Then you will get the correct answer. Okay, this is how we get the correct answer. All right, we're going to do one more example. Okay. To help you understand better about uh, this topic. Okay, let's do something harder. So, 
let's say we want to differentiate the hyperbolic tangent um, 3 minus 2x. So we know when we differentiate hyperbolic tan tangent, we're actually getting the hyperbolic uh, second square. So over here, we will actually get the hyperbolic second square. The angle remains the same, which is 3 minus 2x. And then what we want to do here is, Remember, we need to differentiate the angle one more time, which is differentiate 3 minus 2x will give us the negative 2. So after we simplify, we're actually getting something like this. Uh, negative 2, hyperbolic second square, 3 minus 2x. And we know the hyperbolic second square. Second square is, uh, we can actually change to 1 over cos internet. So this one will become the hyperbolic uh, 1 over hyperbolic square 3 minus 2x okay let's give us some value for cos so i will say um let's say my x is equals to 2 all right then this is what happened then i will actually get the negative 2 over hyperbolic cos square and then this one is 3 minus 2 times 2, which is 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. All right, then I can type this one in my calculator. Negative 2 over, if I want to type this one in the calculator because it has square, so you need to open the bracket, go to the option, hyperbolic function, and then choose the cos, which is hyperbolic cos number 2, and then type the negative 1. And then close bracket for two times and then square again. So because this one, the hyperbolic cos square x is actually equals to the square of the hyperbolic cos x square. Alright, they are the same. So you need to understand this one. So I type enter, I will get about a value like negative 0 0.83995. Alright, then I want to use the differentiation function in this calculator to test whether my answer is correct or wrong. So what I will do is, I will go to shift integration sign here, and then I tell the calculator I want to differentiate the hyperbolic tangent. So number three, and then I insert the angle I have, three minus two x. And then I tell the calculator I want my x answer be two. I tap enter. Yeah, we will get syntax error because why? Because we need to close the bracket two times. Enter. Then you see, I will get exactly the same answer here. So this is how easy we can use the calculator to differentiate the hyperbolic function. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you are interested to get this 570EX calculator, I would strongly recommend you to go to their Shopee official store or Lazada flagship store to get the calculator based on two reasons. First is you will always get the free gift from them. Second is we can always assure the calculator we get is the original one. Right, so here I will provide you a little guide on how to shop at their store. You can see I have the Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so if you go to the Shopee store here, what you need to do is you just go to search here. You can search Casio official store or you just type the Casio here. You should be able to see the Casio official store here, which they have about 200 24,000 follower for right now so you click on it so after you click already here actually say something like search in the shop you can just type a calculator or scientific calculator then you are fine yeah i actually searched the scientific calculator before you just type on it right then you should be able to see the calculator so right now 570ex they're actually selling for 75 ringgit and then they will give you a different free gift uh, based on different time but if you ask my recommendation i always ask my student to go to buy the 991 it's basically it's the same model with this one but 991ex actually add a solar here so that i no need to worry about the battery issue but this one is you can see is it is actually like 34 ringgit more expensive uh, just depend on your budget if you have the budget always go for the solar one if not i think 570 ex is good enough and then you can also choose to go for lazada see which platform actually offer you the better price so 
If you go to the Lazada, what you need to do is search over here. You can just search Casio flagship store or you just type Casio is fine. I believe you should be able to search them. Casio flagship store over here. So right now it's about 123,000 followers. Okay, so from here, you can see here we have a button called search in store. So over here, you can just type a calculator. Then you will show the same thing also. So you can see for the solar one, the price is the same. So yeah, 109. And but for the 570 EX in the Lazada right now, it's slightly more expensive. But this one is not always the case. So whenever you want to shop, right, I always recommend you to compare between uh, Shopee and Lazada because both of the store are owned by the Casio Malaysia here. So you can see at the Shopee right now is 75. They also free a notebook for you. And then for the Lazada, it's about 87. And though they also free you a uh, notebook. And another thing you might need to consider is about the delivery fee, right? So sometimes you have the free delivery voucher, then you can just use to get the cheaper rate. And then I will share both Shopee and Lazada link at my description below. Anyways, I hope you enjoy shopping and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.